This week on This is Ruth Yole, I pause and discuss about the current happenings of our country, Kenya. As sad as this may feel, that we can still keep going and pray and still believe that the future is still bright regardless of what's going on. Air our voices and pray for this country because at the end of the day, we are here and this is our land. We're here to stay. And a prayer for our country. Subscribe and tap on the notification bell for updates. Welcome to my world. Hi guys, welcome to today's episode. Ruth Ele here and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and tap on the notification bell for updates. And as you can see, this is business unusual. I am not posting, sharing any video, any recipe video or convo video today. I just felt it was just right as a Kenyan citizen and as someone who's passionate about this country just to talk about what is currently happening, so the finance bill, and also just the general environment and what's going on. And I woke up today just feeling quite sad. Actually, the whole of yesterday was really hard for me because I, I on Thursday I was in town, last, last week Thursday I was in town, and I happened to be in the middle of the protests and things were happening. And I remember just seeing so many young, bold, people there and I remember even there's this lady young very young lady holding a placard she was so bold she was so firm and I remember when I was just looking at her and I was just you know the way you're just looking around and I, I she caught me looking at the placard and she was literally on my face it's like look you know and she was protesting about free pads and it just inspired me so much like people are so bold and have the courage to just step out and speak up and I was in town, of course, there was tear gas, there was a lot going on, like there were so many people who showed up. And I remember when I left town that Thursday, unfortunately, I saw a young man who was just bleeding, like his face was, I think he was just beaten up and his teeth were, like he was bleeding, it was quite graphic. And just not far away from him, someone was shot and that really traumatized me and it just made me so sad, like I was so excited in one moment, so happy that people are speaking up. And then the next minute I leave town and it's just gloomy. So this brought me back to some time back in campus when there were protests and I was very close to being really injured and really hurt. And I'm also thankful that I'm alive today. And so for that reason, yesterday I just stayed home. I mean, it brought in a lot of some, actually some anxiety. Like yesterday I really was quite unsettled. I woke up i don't even i think i did devotion later on at night that yesterday was really a long day for me and i can imagine how everyone else was feeling and i totally understand anyone who's going through a tough time especially the anxiety that comes with this time it's not easy especially if it's your first time uh going through this and just seeing all the protests and it's like you're trying to make sense of it is help if you need help check them out they're offering counseling and please deal with it you know this is also mental as well you want to be in a good mental state and heal as well and i love kenya i love that you're very hardworking. i love that you're very passionate about what we do we go out there i love that we have i mean freedom to express ourselves but i'm also saddened that sometimes this comes also with a cost and I'm really hoping and praying that things are going to get better. And as a creative who's been in this business for a long time, I know it's not easy. And I'm so thankful that at least right now, the creative space is opening up, but there's so much more to do and there's so much more to be done and you need to be bold and courageous about this. So I, yesterday, I remember just sitting in the house and I was just doing working and I was just following up. I was just on WhatsApp. If it's not WhatsApp, I'm on TikTok. I'm just finding out what's going on, following up. I'm watching the news. And it's it's a time for us to still, in the midst of this sad space, to still have hope. For me, all along my life, I have seen God's strength and God's goodness and God's provision, even in times and in, pl in places which it deemed hopeless. And for me, that's why I'm really convicted, even as sad as this may feel, that we can still keep going and pray and still believe that the future is still bright, regardless of what's going on. Air our voices and pray for this country, because at the end of the day, we are here and this is our land. We're here to stay and we need to really be positive and believe that somehow, regardless of what is going on, that there'll be good out of this. And I know, and I know we are concerned. 
you know, some of us, we've definitely finished school. We don't have jobs. We're worried about the future. We're worried about, you know, what is going to happen to us, you know, um, this taxation and everything else. It's, it's such a genuine concern. And even for me, to be honest, I have had moments where I'm like, you know, I, I don't want to spend too much time overthinking because honestly, there's so much I want to do. And it's like, you know, it feels almost like, okay, so what, what's next? What's, what's, what's next for me? How does the future look at, like, even as a creative, what does that future look like for me? But anytime I get really deep into those thoughts, I'm reminded that God still has a plan for us. You know, he knows our beginning from the end, that he has a good plan in the future. And I believe in this time, as hard as sometimes it may feel, you know, sometimes you might feel like you don't have the strength to pray. Take heart and whisper, talk to God and believe that he's hearing and that he sees you and that he will meet you at your point of need. I think in such moments, it's when I've learned to just be real with God. As I wrap up this conversation, I'd like us to pray for our country. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for our country, Kenya. Thank you so much because of this beautiful place to call, ho to call home. Thank you for the wildlife. Thank you so much for the beaches. Thank you for the rich soils. Thank you so much for the lakes, the mountains. We are truly blessed. Thank you so much for the hills. And thank you, Jesus, because of giving us such warmth, such hard work, such enterprise. And we just pray, Lord, uh, we appreciate, Lord, for that. And we pray for us as Kenyans. We pray that you give us comfort, especially... Young lives are lost in these demonstrations, Lord. We pray that, God, you bring comfort and healing and hope and that, Lord, that, God, everything is going to go well and that there will be comfort and, Lord, that you're going to take over. And we pray also concerning the anger and frustration. Lord, it's a lot. We are going through a lot, even as a country, economically, it's not easy. We pray that, God, you comfort us. I pray that you give us strength. I pray that you calm us, Lord. I pray that you... You heal us and you you give us uh, stability. I pray that you heal us. Even those people who've been going through tough times, you know, just even even the anxiety that has come with this, Lord, that there will be comfort and that be healing and that God will look up to you to find strength. I also pray, God, for hope for us young people. Uh, we're looking at our future. We, are, we want to achieve so many things. We just pray that you keep, help us to keep hope alive, that we look up to you, that we trust you, that we will not... Those who look to you will not be ashamed that, God, we can trust you. Even when things seem to be going so wrong, that, God, you have a good plan and a good future for us and that we will succeed and that you're going to see your goodness in this land. And finally, we pray for our president. Lord, I just pray for wisdom as he makes these decisions that I pray that we will not suffer, that we will not struggle. And we do understand that we need to build our economy. But, Lord, I pray that there'll be wisdom and there'll be proper use of these funds so that it benefits all of us as a whole, that we don't struggle, that we're able to live a comfortable life and even create even more wealth, even for our children and our generations to come. Thank you so much because you love us and keep us happy, keep us strengthened, give us hope, give us um, peace, help us to be calm, give us healing. And Lord, we believe that all things are going to work for good in the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me for today's episode. Let's keep on praying for Kenya. This is our beloved country. We love Kenya and we are hopeful and believe that we will see God's goodness in our land. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, and make sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell for updates. Until next time, bye-bye. I love you. God bless. Mm.